talk to you about the significance of using the Word of God when we're talking about meditating and transforming our life. What makes using the Word of God so significant? And that is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is the only person that has ever defeated every obstacle in life defeated everything, sickness and disease. I mean, he defeated everything. He, he exerted mastery over everything in this earth. He overcame hell, death, and the grave and defeated its power. So when we meditate using the Word of God, we are partaking of that same victory that Jesus walked in, that he showed us the example of how to manifest or how to experience the power of God in the earth. There's no one else that has ever done that. And there's no one else that has successfully rose from hell, death, and the grave. There's no one else that went to hell for three days and three nights and came out of there alive and well and victorious. Yes, the Bible says that even his name, the, the, the name of Jesus is the name that's above every other name. It has all power and rule and authority over every name. That's how successful our Lord is. And so when we meditate the Word of God, we are connecting with, we are associating with, we are partaking of the power that Jesus walked in when he walked this earth. We are partaking in that same victory, the, the Everything that, that is required for victory is in the power of the Word of God. And so as we connect with that power, we're transforming our lives into victory. You see, God has prepared victory for all of us. No matter what condition, no matter where you are, no matter what you're facing, God has prepared victory. And that victory is in the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to read 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 11 verse 30 um, to you because Jesus is, he is the standard. He's for us as believers. He is that way to victory for us in this life. And actually that's 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 30. And it says here, it says, but of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom, righteousness, and sanctification and redemption. So this covers everything that we need in life. We need wisdom. We need to know what to do and have the power to do it in situations that we face. Righteousness, we, we have that right standing with God to know that we have equality with God, to know that, that, that God's power is backing us on earth because, because we're, we're not an offense to God, but we're accepted by God. We're a partner of God. We're with God. Then also that sanctification, we've been sanctified from sin and from defeat and from the power of the enemy and to God, to righteousness, to his goodness and redemption. We are redeemed from all the evil and all the curse that's in this life. So you see, as we meditate the word of God, our life takes on everything that God prepared for us to have. That is victory. That is one victory after another. That is peace and, and success and wholeness and, and mastery over everything in this life, in this earth. And praise God, our Lord Jesus is our example. So when we meditate the word, as we ponder the word, as we, as we visualize the word, as we, we um, you know, meditate the word, again, ponder, we... Um, chew on the word, we're, we're chewing on, we're meditating, we're, we're allowing that our capacity to be enlarged so that we can utilize more faith and, and grab hold to more grace, so we can connect to more of God's goodness, more grace, more of God's ability. You see, God's ability for whatever area of life you need it in, wherever you're at right now, there's grace for you. As you meditate the Word of God, your faith will just expand to that place where God can do the miracle that, that you have, have been waiting on or, or things that, that, that you thought were impossible can come to pass. Because meditation actually helps you see. 
you can see it. You, 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 you know, once you change your, your focus of, of who you are and what you look like, then you can see, you know, where you're going. You can see the answer and then your life will connect with that power through faith, through that grace to manifest and rise above whatever's been holding you down. Praise God. And I'm all about living the high life. How about you? I'm all about not being taken down by anything, but rising up to the place that God has, you know, for us to rise. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about testimony I'm going to share with you. I used to be a really heavy cigarette smoker. I mean, I probably smoked about three packs a day. I was constantly smoking. And, and I always say that whatever I set my mind to do, I put my all into it. Well, I put my all into cigarette smoking. And after I got born again, my conscience began to, to just condemn me. I mean, I just didn't feel good about smoking. I mean, I remember uh, brushing my teeth, you know, several times a day and putting perfume on, because especially if I went to church, I didn't want people to, to know that I was smoking, so I was hiding it. And finally, I just got so fed up with the whole thing with smoking and, and just feeling condemned about it. I just didn't like it. And I really believe the Holy Spirit was just showing me that I didn't have to be bound by cigarettes, that I could be free, because cigarettes aren't good for you. And, and, and uh, praise God, I don't want to do anything that's not good for me. How about you today? So, so for me, when that condemnation came, it became sin for me. And so I remember stop, you know, stopping smoking. I, I put them down for like five days and said, I'm just not going to smoke anymore. And I, at that point, I was married, and, and my ex-husband and I had an a argument. And so that Saturday night, I started back smoking again. And went to church that Sunday, and I was, remember sitting there in the service. It was almost time to get out, and I was thinking, oh, I'll be so glad when service is over. I want a cigarette. Well, then the Holy Spirit said, through the pastor, said, anyone who wants to be free from cigarette smoking, come up here right now. And so, because I really wanted to be free. So I jumped up and I went up there and he, he prayed for me, laid hands on me, and I received deliverance. But now the one thing is that I didn't feel any different. In fact, I, I was still thinking, boy, I'd still want a cigarette. But then my spiritual mother came to me and she said, you know, she says, you are free from cigarettes. She says, now you just have to walk in it. And when she said that, the Holy Spirit inside of me just just gave me such a revelation. I just realized, I kept thinking about that. I am free. Now I just have to walk in it. I just have to walk in it. I am free. And I began to say that to myself. And I actually began meditating, even though I didn't really realize it at that point, but I was meditating. I began to say, I am free. Now I just have to walk in it. Now, even though my flesh was used to smoking cigarettes, you know, I was most used to smoking when I got in the car, when I went to the bathroom, everything. When I got, as soon as I got done eating, I was used to having a cigarette. But and when that thought came, when that desire of my flesh came, my spirit rose up and said, you are free. You just have to walk in it. And so every time that desire came, that thought came, I am free. I'm never going to smoke again. I just, I'm walking it out. I don't want to smoke. I, I am free from cigarettes. And so, and then what happened is that, and I really believe it was the power of God that gave me this vision from me saying that, that I was free from cigarettes and I would never smoke again. He gave me a vision that every time smoke or the thought of smoke went into my throat, I would just want to gag and cough. And let me tell you, when my flesh wanted that cigarette, that's what I saw. I saw coughing and gagging and just, ugh, and I didn't, I just didn't want that. And so... After maybe about a couple of weeks, that whole desire from in my flesh went completely away. Now, it's been 29 years, actually over 29 years since I've had a cigarette. But again, that's the power of meditation, that as we meditate, we can see our freedom. And that's what so many of us need. We need to see past that lack. We need to see past that sickness. We need to see our deliverance. We need to see the victory. We need to see ourselves making that sale. Uh, we need to imagine it and see it and connect with it. And then we walk it out by the power of our faith through grace. And that's what meditation will do for us. Again, I want to read 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 1 and verse 30 to you in the Amplified. In the Amplified, it says, 
but it is from him that you have your life in Christ, whom God made our wisdom from God, reveal to us knowledge of the divine plan of salvation previously hidden, manifesting itself as our righteousness, thus making us upright, putting us in right standing with God, and our consecration, making us pure and holy, and our redemption, providing our ransom from eternal penalty up for sin. So then, as it is written, let him who boasts and proudly rejoices in glories, boast and proudly rejoice in glory and the Lord. Yes, he is our way as we meditate. So if, if I was going to meditate this, this verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30, I would just say, Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus that Jesus Christ is my life. I receive my life in Christ Jesus. I have your wisdom because in Christ you have revealed your wisdom to me. I have revealed knowledge. I have the divine plan of salvation within me in the name of Jesus. And as you just began to just think about that and mutter it and allow the Holy Spirit to give you that vision, the wisdom, and you can take it for any specific situation. And I encourage you to do that, to meditate the scripture out of that specific situation that you need God's power in. Take that verse and begin to meditate. Yes, I have the wisdom of God. It's revealed to me right now in, in the name of Jesus. It's no longer hidden. I see the way in Christ Jesus. I am utilizing the same power that Jesus used to, to manifest victory in the earth. That same power is at work within me. And we talk about righteousness. Father, I thank you I'm righteous. I see myself as your righteousness. I'm in right standing with you. Father, I thank you. I thank you that I, I am right with you and everything else is wrong. I'm right with God. I have the right feelings. I have the right emotions. I have the right thoughts because I am right with God. I am in Christ Jesus. You see, as you make that connection, you are allowing the power of God, the power for victory to flow to you through faith manifesting the grace, amen, the, the grace that's available, partaking of that grace. Let me pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those right now that are watching this broadcast. And Father, I just thank you for the Holy Spirit working in them right now. Whatever they're facing, I thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost, helping them to meditate your word, helping them to expand their capacity of faith, to see themselves the way that you see them, and to partake of deliverance, to partake of healing, to partake of the victory, the answers, the miracles, Father, supernatural power to manifest the same victory that Jesus manifested for them here on earth by using the power of his infallible, incorruptible, the, the incorruptible word of God. And Satan, in the name of Jesus, you are bound from everyone in the sound of my voice. Loose them now. Take your hands off of them. And I thank you, Father God, for your power prevailing in their lives. In the name of Jesus, in the name that's above every other name, in the name that has all power of rule and authority in heaven and on earth, be free, be healed, and be blessed. And I will see you again.